Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing a reading on self-reflection. I will be pulling three cards and providing a short reading on each, which will be time stamped in the description box below. If you would like me to do a self-reflection reading on your self-reflection question, please send an email to guidedreflections at gmail.com or leave a comment below. All the information will be in the description box. Okay. So let's pull these first three cards. Spirit, what should we work on? Wow. Okay. So we have three cards that came out automatically. And the first one is, who am I ready to forgive? Who am I ready to forgive? That is the first one. The second one, do I believe I am worthy? Okay. And the third one is, what is the most limiting belief keeping me from what I want right now? All right, let me pull this over. Pull this. All right, so the first one we're gonna work on is, who am I ready to forgive? So on the back of the card, it says, I am not what happened to me. I am who I choose to become. Is it time to let go, forgive, and move on to? Onward, I'm sorry. Is your soul ready to forgive someone else or yourself? Forgiveness brings sweet release. F freedom and insight. Look at it from their, sh their shoes. Notice how you grow and what you learned who do you want to become and how is this resistance holding you from what your soul wants? And it says today, soul action, write a forgiveness letter, then practice prayer today while thinking of the person you are ready to forgive. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me and thank you. All right. Let's see. Spirit, who am I right? Oh. Okay, so we have three cards. So it says experiencing energy, all right? So it says the highest state you have ever experienced is simply the result of how open you were. If you don't close it, it will, or I'm sorry, it can be like that all the time. So I feel like we have been in a state of not seeing things clearly sometimes. And because of not seeing things clearly, we we have to look at things from a different perspective. And I feel like who am I ready to forgive as it states in the back, it does state that um, we have to maybe go into looking to be in their shoes or look at it from their point of view so that we can notice some type of growth within ourselves so that we can notice certain lessons that we have um, we have to overcome. Okay, and it says living life, okay? And it says, fortunately, deep within us, there is a d deep connection to the divine, okay? So uh, living life, you know, a lot of times we'll just keep going on um, and covering up that inner wisdom or something that's trying to tell us about where we should go, what we should do, how we should, with, with, how we should do things. And a lot of times we forget that a lot of these things are truly lessons, okay? Um, and the lesson is for us to know or to see things from, a, again, a different perspective, to understand or to try to figure out what is what happened, what is going on. And a lot of times we are looking outside of ourselves when we need to look inside ourselves, okay? And it says, awaken consciousness, okay? It says, you think the solution to your inner problems is in the world outside, but nobody has ever truly become okay by changing things outside. There, There's always the next problem, okay? So just as I was saying, sometimes we look on the outside, um, but a lot of a lot of this forgiveness and a lot of things is within us, and um, we sometimes again we 
internalize things and we start thinking about what is going on in the outside why this person or why this happened to me um with this person but a lot of times we do again have to look within um but forgiveness as they always say is not for the other person it is for ourselves it is for us to see and be able to see things clearly and to be able to move on and yes that is very hard and a lot of times some things you may feel that is unforgivable for what someone has done to you but again that forgiveness is not for the other person that forgiveness is for yourself okay spirit what are the messages do you have okay so we have see the gifts and challenge one can be taught within the calm, but the greatest lessons are learned from the storms. So like I was saying, again, it, you know, all of this resonates together and it's more about ourselves, it's more about our inner wisdom, it's more about learning um, about ourselves. You know, a lot of times things are going on and again, we internalize it, we push it all the way down and we're not looking at it from another point of view more or less it doesn't have to be you know about the other person we have to start figuring out that these things are about ourselves how do we uh work on ourself it's about self it's about healing ourself okay all right so the next card is do i believe am i worthy Okay, and let's see. You are worthy. You are deserving. You are loved. Start seeing the divine beauty within you and go out and claim the life you have dreamed up. Your crown has been bought and paid for, but it is on your head and wear it. Today's sole action for a big goal or dream you have asked yourself do I feel worthy of this? Okay. So with do I believe I'm worthy? A lot of times we take time and we have all these dreams and we have all these endeavors that we want to do and we want to work on things and we, we, we think about um, what is going to happen if I pursue it or what is going to happen if I, you know, go for my dream or what is going to happen or what, if, what are other people going to think about, um, what I put out or my change or how I'm thinking or the change of life. And yes, because you're going to start really focusing on yourself and believing in yourself and believing in the things that you have dreamed about and the thing of being worthy of yourself. Yes, you're going to lose people that never valued you or appreciated you or seen your true worth or seen the true you within yourself. But that means that you have to lose them because they never valued who you truly were. Your worthiness comes from you, not from anyone else. Your worthiness is of you. It is about what you think of you, not what someone else may think of you. You are worthy to do and go for what you truly want. It can be a job. It can be a marriage. It can be just happiness. It can be prosperity. But you are truly worthy because you believe in you. Your focus is not on anyone else. Just because someone else may not have valued you, you value you. All right. <clears throat> Spirit. Do I believe I am worthy? Here, give me references to, do I believe? What do they need to hear in reference to this? Do I believe am I worthy, please? Here. What is it that they need to know? 
We have two cards. Okay. So the first card, it says, if you go very deep, that is where you live. You live in the seat of consciousness. A true spiritual being lives there without effort and without intent. Okay. And this is an awakened consciousness. This is something that you have to awaken to for yourself. Okay. Again, it is about yourself. It is about what you think of you, not what anyone else may think of you. People may have put you down. They may not have had faith in you or your dreams, or they may have said certain things to you that may have, you know, I'm also hearing inner child work. Okay. That may have hindered you or may have made you feel less than, but you are worthy because, but the thing is, it starts with yourself. No one can make you feel this way, but you. Certain things you have to break. Certain thinking patterns. Okay? So it says, again, awaken consciousness. <clears throat> and it says, break the habit of thinking that the solution to your problems is to rearrange things outside. The only permanent solution to your problems is to go inside and let go of the part of you that seems to have so many problems with reality. Again, the work starts with you. And yes, I know that there has been obstacles. There has been things that try to hinder you, hold you down. Words have been spoken against you. But you're the one that holds the key to every piece of success in your life. You have prayed, you have asked to be able to move on and to let go of certain things in your life. But again, it all starts with, I'm worthy. Spirit, what are the messages you have, please? What are the other messages you have? So what has popped out, it says empowerment, magical times. But the thing is, do you feel that you're magical? Because you are. You hold the power, you hold the tools to know your worth. Let me pull one more card, Spirit. Am I worthy, Spirit? Spirit, what messages, please? Messages, please, Spirit. Oh, we have two. Okay. We have three, I'm sorry. So it says healing, okay? Bless all in need of healing, hope, and love. Spirit grants us strength and wisdom. Guide us to the path of willness. And like I said, yes, there have been obstacles. They have been challenges. They have been things that have hindered us, tried to hold us down so that we could not move and go into... Um, this healing process to help us move on, to help us move past certain things that have held us back. Gentleness, strength is gentle. True kindness has wings. Love and action, endurance. Be gentle with yourself. Allow yourself the time to heal. To know your worth. We have journey. It says focus on how far you have come. Not how far you have to go. You will find help 
in unexpected places. I feel like spirit is with you, guiding you, helping you to move forward so that you know who you truly are. You are more than what someone has said. You are more than how someone has treated you. It takes time. Don't be so hard on yourself. Okay. <clears throat> Right. So the next card is what is the what is the most limiting belief keeping me from what I want right now? What story are you telling yourself? When you think about your dreams, what is the first limiting thought that comes to your mind? If you are not living the life you desire or deserve, it's because a part of you does not believe it's possible. Today's soul action, it's time to upgrade. Look your, look your belief in the eye. Where did it come from? What new belief are you ready to adapt in its place? How will this change your results? Remember, your belief is the root of your result. Own it, heal it, upgrade it. This makes me feel like we we had like again, even in the uh do I believe am I worthy? Some limiting beliefs. Again, I feel like there was uh maybe something that you were taught. Um that is keeping you or holding you back from believing in yourself or believing in something that you know is truly true and you want to push forward. You want to break um, certain things that have uh, kept you, again, down, kept you from, you know, moving in a certain direction. I do see that uh, I see that there is things that have held you and like you're almost in like a hangman state. You haven't been moving in the direction that you truly want. There is something that you want and something that you want to go after. And I feel like in the past you have tried to go after this. But there was something that held you down that did not allow you to push forward, okay? It could be just life, things that have been coming at you, but you felt like, you know, I'm also picking up there was people that um, almost made you feel like you could not uh, move forward or uh, I, I keep hearing words. I'm also hearing that there may have been also someone around you that had some guidance and was trying to speak um, life into you, help push you forward. I'm also picking up, there's been losses in your life. And because of some of these losses, you also stop speaking to someone. And this is not speaking to a particular person. And this could be a family member um, it could be mother, father, aunt, uncle, but there is someone in your life that you stopped speaking to or you had to stop speaking to because of what they were saying to you that was negative. Spare what the messages, please, for limiting belief. Let's keep it. Spare messages please it says filling yourself simply permit the pain to come into your heart and pass through if you do that it will pass if you are sincerely seeking truth you'll let go every time so whatever this is that has been holding you down keeping you back from 
really like pushing forward to something that you know that you want that has been because you've been wanting um, a firm relationship. You've been wanting to have that love or bring that love into your life. You've been wanting. I'm also hearing someone wanting children or something or wanting a family dynamic or trying to bring um, a family together or trying to hold something together. Spirit, what are the messages, please? What are the messages? Okay. <clears throat> we have awakened consciousness. All right. And it says, who is having all these physical, emotional, and mental experiences? Notice who is experiencing the experience. Realize that you, the experiencer, have a certain quality. And the quality is awareness, consciousness, and intuitive sense of existing. You are, exist, you exist regardless, thoughts or no thoughts. So I feel like there is things that constantly are recurring in your mind. Things that I really feel like this is uh, more of like certain things of the past that keeps coming up. But these were other people's experiences that were thrown on you. Their limited beliefs that were put on you. And now you are constantly thinking about these things or trying to change them. But I feel like spirit is saying you're coming into an awareness so that you can change it. Okay. We have feeling yourself. When your stuff gets hit, let go. Right then, because it will be harder later. So I feel like, again, with these um, thoughts and recurring thoughts or someone is around you that, again, has their own limited beliefs and they're trying to put that on you or hinder you with that. But I feel like you're going to start noticing it so that you can start making a change for the better for yourself. No more limiting yourself. You're coming into your own awareness. Spirit, what are the messages, please? Union, yes. You have seen and unseen allies. Draw upon their strength. Join the forces with friends and flourish. So with this... I feel like, uh, you know, again, I feel like there are people around you that want to see you succeed, but there are others that are trying to hold you back. And I feel like you're going to be coming into that um, conscious awareness. You're going to see who is for you and who is against you. Okay. <clears throat> Hold one more card. Spirit, what are the messages, please? We have two more. Okay. <clears throat> healing. I feel like with this, you're going to be healing past hurts, things that have hindered you again, things that have tried to come up against you, hold you down because you're coming into your awareness. You're noticing other people's experiences and things that they have tried to put on you and make you feel like you have to um, take on their responsibility or take on certain things, okay? And it says, bless all in need of healing, hope, and love. Spirit, grant us strength and wisdom. Guide us to the path of wellness. wellness. Okay. <clears throat> Gentleness. And this is the healing and the gentleness is the same thing that came out with the do I believe I'm worthy? Okay. It says strength is um, gentle. True kindness has wings. Love in action endurance. So I feel like spirit is saying be gentle with yourself. During this healing process. Also, I'm hearing getting to know yourself. Being good to yourself, kind to yourself, 
No more blaming yourself for other people's actions. You are worthy. All right, well, thank you so much. Please like and subscribe and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.